Well, hey guys, I am awake. I just rolled out of bed and put my headband on and I'm gonna do a hundred side planks with the good old blogilates and buff dude. <clears throat> I always find it funny in this video when the buff dude is like dying and Blogilates keeps talking. He's like, I can't speak. Yeah, like heavier lifting, deadlifts, squats, or right. things of that nature. So, uh, my abs are already tired right now. No, you're gonna stay oh, up like a okay. shirt. It really helps me. Yeah. How old is your sister? Um, she is, she is four and a half years younger than me. Oh, okay. So, It's funny when he gets tired. <laughs> oh, last night I did the stem slugging as i told you guys with the cetaphil healing ointment it's really making my skin feel like extra soft which doesn't surprise me that's the whole principle of kind of wet wrap therapy but i think it's a combination of not only does it have petrolatum but this has shea butter and it also has microcrystalline wax it really spreads on the skin while the skin is still damp pretty nicely actually so i've been doing that to my neck arms and legs but I also have been using this as a body moisturizer, not with that, but this is what I was kind of using before I got into this stem slugging, as I'm calling it. And I got this at Kroger. Highly recommend it. I've been really happy. Look how much I've gone through already. It, I think it was like eight bucks for this. They also have one with hyaluronic acid instead of collagen, and then they have a retinol one. But it's fragrance free, it has shea butter, it has ceramides, it has panthenol, which is really good for the moisture bearer. It does have coconut oil. Some people are easily, their skin is easily irritated by coconut oil, but for other people, it's actually a really good moisturizer. Yeah, I'll just put a little on, even though my skin is pretty moisturized. I'll put it on my hands, that's for sure. I feel like my hands are in need of a little. A little love. Speaking of hands, I didn't paint my nails. Last night I had some of that spirulina powder. I put it in a smoothie and it gets under my nails and like around my nails and around my nail beds. I need to figure out if there's like a dispenser for that. Same thing with the um, athletic greens powder. Sometimes it gets under my nails but the nice thing about that is it comes with a scoop so i don't really end up coming in contact with it but the spirulina powder for whatever reason i think because it's a lot finer it ends up going everywhere yeah i've been putting that in my smoothies i bought it on iherb a few weeks ago and or like a month or so ago so i've been putting that in smoothies but yeah i've been really into that i bought some blue spirulina powder too which is supposed to have less of a kind of fishy taste I thought that would be more fun for smoothies, but my current protein powder that I'm using in my smoothies is brown because it's chocolate flavored. And so I want to get a vanilla flavor that's white. So when I put the blue powder in, it'll be more vibrant. Plus I could put blueberries in. Yeah, that is what I'm going for with that. All right, so my PCA Skin Pigment Gel has absorbed. So I'm just going to come in, of course, with this. This has seriously been my favorite sunscreen of this year, the Aven Intense Protect. I wish we could get it here in the States, but we can't. Speaking of European sunscreens that we lust after, I actually ordered some on a website called Look Fantastic. These are sunscreens that I have used in the past that a viewer from Europe sent me from Europe. So I figured that would be a good way for me to kind of test out this website for you guys. I ordered some uh, Ultra Sun sunscreens, like their lip balm which i've always liked and they have a sunscreen that's like anti-pigmentation in the name and it's really good so it's a website and it ships to the u.s and it wasn't i want to say i ended up getting free shipping because i bought a lot so i don't know what the shipping cost is or anything like that but it has 
I think maybe some of you all have recommended this website to me. I don't know how I found it, but we'll see how that goes. But I have really been liking this. I keep getting comments, though, from people that it stains their clothing, and I have not had that issue at all, like that it leaves rust stains on their clothing. You know, Ava Benzone can do that if you have hard water, which I do. So I, I haven't run into that issue. I've been pretty careful, though, not to get it on my clothes. But I really like it because it's got really good filters in it. It's broad, you know, a really good broad spectrum sunscreen. It has their new filter triazorb in it, which allegedly, according to their studies, um, will protect against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light, the, the blue light, the HEV, which can <clears throat> generate some free radicals in the skin that damage collagen. But those wavelengths, they also contribute to hyperpigmentation. So anyways, it has that. Um, in my opinion, actually, of all the sunscreens out there on the market, if you have a deep skin tone and you're prone to hyperpigmentation, I would argue that this is probably one of the best ones out there for your needs. A, it doesn't leave a cast. B, it's moisturizing. So people with deeper skin tones, they are more prone to dryness, actually. Um, and it has triazorb in it, which will protect against the, those HEV wavelengths and gives good UVA protection, which deeper skin tones need um, for fading things like melasma or helping with melasma and sun damage. So, yeah, I mean, the internet seems to believe have this weird false fixed belief that people with deeper skin tones need to just resign themselves to using mineral sunscreens. And I'm like, why? Um, I, I mean, if mineral sunscreens for people with sensitive skin, they tend to be better tolerated. I get that. So if you have sensitive skin, okay. American chemical sunscreens can be very irritating, but let's not close the discussion as to what this can offer over a mineral sunscreen as far as, you know, those good filters because this is not going to leave a cast and that's really limiting for people with deeper skin tones when it comes to willingness to accept using sunscreen plus this is moisturizing and unlike the american ones it doesn't burn around the eyes today i'm going to go to target and check out the holiday gift sets film a video for you guys so i will include some of that footage in this video too not the gift sets but i'll film in there for this video as well and we'll do the advent calendar today. I'm pretty excited, although I did it last night, so I'll put that footage in this video too. I'm on the fence with this Charlotte Tilbury mascara that I bought because it's pretty good. It elongates and whatnot, but it kind of gets a little flaky towards the end of the day. All right, here's some skincare. New look, same formula. This is a good moisturizer. I didn't recognize it because I repackaged it, but it has colloidal oatmeal in it. Cetaphil, I'm telling you, they really have upped their game this year. They have a lot of good goodies that have released. Except this I have been trying out for you guys in the background. It's not bad, but I don't think it's worth the $20. It has Bacuchiol in it, which is a antioxidant that has been shown in laboratory studies to simulate some of the same path stimulate some of the same pathways that retinol would so but we really don't have the data for that and you can become allergic to it of course you can become allergic to anything this also has niacinamide which is good for the moisture barrier it's good for reducing redness and irritation i haven't tried the deep hydration healthy glow daily cream but i did try in this healthy radiance line their sunscreen and it burned my eyes it's one of those that into the eyes and causes blurry vision and there's this healthy radiance antioxidant serum here with uh track lemon peel extract it can just cause irritation just use a moisturizer with niacinamide in it Ooh, look a little mini hydro boost water gel cream trial size so of course it's not the fragrance free one but it's cute looks like a little uh, american girl doll mini version same with the ponds cold cream does anybody else get excited over minis i know they're like a an environmental scourge 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 i don't know what i'm trying to say they're bad for the environment <laughs> um but they're so cute this i highly recommend the advanced repair it's a great body moisturizer 
<laughs> Look at the cute little Cetaphil too. Whoa, that is a rather biggie size of the Kristen S. Shine Enhancing Conditioner Fragrance Free. $24.49. Not too bad. You get, there's also the Fragrance Free Daily Cleansing Shampoo and Shine Enhancing Conditioner. This Daily Cleansing Shampoo, it kind of reminds me of the Scene Hair Care products. It has coconut oil in it, which is helpful for shine and reducing high girl fatigue. And then they also have it, she also has a fragrance free deep treatment mask. The dry powder shampoo. Now dry shampoo, it can lead to a buildup on the scalp that causes scalp irritation, but I know it's popular. And then the weightless shine leave-in conditioner. Is this fragrance free too? I don't think it is. Um, I'll have to give that a try sometime, but these are pretty good. I wish she came out with more, however, because these are not going to work for all hair types. Like, I think if you have if you have textured hair, this might be too too drying. Comment below on if you've tried it, though. This looks new. HB Hair Biology. Oh my gosh, you guys. Has Olay been napping and snacking? I'm not seeing anything new from them. Although, wait a minute. Are these new? Yep. Looks like they came out with an SPF 30 Hydrating Moisturizer with retinol and peptide. This is a chemical sunscreen, it shouldn't leave a cast, and then it has retinol in it, which I'm assuming they believe is stable in the presence of UV. You know, some retinols are UV sensitive and degrade, but I suppose they've stabilized it. Maybe that's why they also have a retinyl ester to stable, help stabilize it. It's an antioxidant. Panthenol, peptides are good for skin firming. Hmm interested about that what's the vitamin c in their sunscreen what form of vitamin c is that 3 o ethyl ascorbic acid that is not evidence-based for actually getting in the skin and converting to ascorbic acid it may help with skin brightening but some people do develop an allergy to it oh this has fragrance in it Bew. did the other one have fragrance in it too no i'm not seeing the f word although when i go and we're back for more advent calendar unboxing all right so we did day seven, eight, and nine. We're now we're gonna do 10 and 11. 10 kind of looks like a nail polish. They kind of give us little clues. Like this is kind of a fun game. Instead of just opening it, like we kind of try and guess. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a nail polish, which I'm hoping for. Cause I've gotten into painting my nails this year in case you guys didn't notice if you were asleep at the wheel, which don't, don't fall asleep at the wheel. I'm not condoning sleeping while driving. Cause that is, not safe. Uh, oops. Oh my God, I almost ruined day 12 for us. We're not getting day 12 until next weekend, so hold your breath, kids. Hold your breath. All right. Oh, no. Not a nail polish. A lip oil mm, by Tony Moly. Is that? Oh, no. Not Tony, Tony Moly. McQueen. Oops. <laughs> Jump right out of my hand. All right. Money Volume Fix Essential Lip Oil. Ooh, I don't know what is in what the ingredients are on this, but check out the packaging. The packaging. It's not just like a typical looking lip balm. This is kind of giving me Scarface vibes. Anybody else? Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> like, uh, what's the woman in Scarface? She, uh, God, I'm blanking on her name. This looks like something that she would hold her on. Now this is interesting as far as a, an applicator. I was expecting like a brush, which it kind of, it is a brush, but it's it's like a hybrid brush spatula. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely fragrance in that. I don't care for that. Yeah, it's really perfumey. Bummer. All right, day 11. This is, this, maybe this is gonna be, it's not gonna be something like a hand cream, even though it looks hand cream shaped. I'm gonna guess, maybe, it, here's my guess, sleep mask. That's what I'm gonna guess this is. Sleep mask, because it's coming in this tube. Um, ooh. Not seeing the word sleep mask, but I am seeing the word ceramide. So hold my drink. I'm not drinking. 
<laughs> um, all right, Dermide. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have ESP. I have ESP. Move over, Miss Cleo. I am the new soothsayer. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I did not cheat. I swear, I did not cheat. This is a sleeping pack, which we're gonna call a sleeping mask. I am the next Miss Cleo. All right. Oh my God, I am really excited about this. Woo! Why? Because I there's no fragrance and it's got Centella Asiatica extract, 250,000 parts per million. Wow, that level of detail, I'm impressed with. It also has squalane, a lightweight emollient, jojoba seed oil, glycerin, sunflower seed oil, and then it has matacasticide, asiaticicide, matacastic acid, asiatic acid. These are all compounds from centella, which are helpful for healing, barrier recovery, fighting off free radicals. They're superheroes from centella, otherwise known as the asiatic pennywort. This also has, wait for it, panthenol and ceramides and sodium hyaluronate and, and tea extract. So, I am so excited. This combined with the snail eye masks are worth the calendar alone. I'm telling you, this calendar, it is always a good time. Let's let's take it out of the box though. Oh, yes. Check out the check out the quantity. Not just some little like one and done thing here. We're getting a big tube. This is like a this is like toothpaste, a, a, a toothpaste tube worth of product here. To be precise, not one, not two, but 2.70 fluid ounces, 0.70. Yes, all right, let's see what the texture is. Looks like a white cream. Ooh, nice consistency, lightweight. I'll look forward to using that. Wow. Soothsayer. All right, you guys. Stay tuned for next weekend. More days. We're gonna go into day 12. Yep. So far, so good. It's the holiday season. Well, hey guys, I just finished a little workout and I'm gonna hop in the shower, but <laughs> keeping you guessing there, did I evoke blue tones? Sometimes when I come in here from the dark, everything turns blue. Before I get in the shower, I'm gonna take off my mascara and um, break up the film of my Avan Intense Protect water resistant sunscreen. I just finished, where are you at? I'll put it in my empties bin. I just finished the, Beauty of Joseon Radiant Cleansing Balm. Two thumbs up on that bad boy. I was sad that it came to a finish, but I am going to finish up as my first step cleanse, the Aven Tolerance Lotion Extremely Gentle Cleanser. I'm gonna show you how it works because if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't care for micellar waters. Like they just don't work for me. Namely because I find that they burn and sting around the eyes. This is as close to a micellar water that you can get that actually works. Well, at least for me. Very gentle. And I love it so much in that you can use it, put it on your face, wipe it off, and you actually don't have to use water. <clears throat> I do. I do a second cleanse. I think that allows for better cleansing. <clears throat> but I wanted to point that out because I do get a lot of questions from you guys like if you camp or whatever and you want something to help you take off a sunscreen at the end of the evening for camping but you don't have to access to water this would be a great choice not the most like backpacky looking vibe here but hey uh, you could dispense it you know into a little silicone tube like these ones that I got from from FOB. These are great for camping. Anyways, um, so you could use it that way. So I'm just going to take one of these little cotton squares because I have some of them 
but you know you could use they actually make reusable ones as a matter of fact i think i got some in my fab fit fun box so i'm gonna pull those out like an older fab fit fun box i'm gonna pull those out so i remember to use those but let me just use this here you really don't need very much and it comes out like a viscous lotion so it's not the consistency of micellar water which as a side note i always find micellar water is kind of messy to maneuver but let me show you how well it takes off the mascara. This is that Charlotte Tilbury Push Push Up Lashes Pillow Talk I mentioned I got recently. I like it, but as you can see, it kind of flakes a lot, I've noticed. So, word of warning, anyways. Like with the micellar water, I would be having, this would be stinging and burning, but you can just use it around the eyes to take off eye makeup and it does a really good job Ooh, i got a fleck of mascara in my eye that's gonna skeeve me out remember when i tried out was it neutrogena's makeup removing wipes a long time ago on camera and they were just not working for me <laughs> the skin feels clean and moisturized after you use this and i'm just gonna put a little bit in my hand and use it on my the rest of my face well, hey guys, I'm out of the shower. I was chatting with you all about my camera because I think there was some steam in here. It was going in and out of focus, but actually I think I had some weird button press that spazzes it out. For those of you who deal with dandruff, it can get a lot worse in the winter. Nizerol shampoo, it helps reduce that little, the burden of that little yeast malassezia, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's part of everybody's natural skin flora, but it's not that People who have a tendency towards either dandruff or just seborrheic dermatitis, they have an abnormal immune response to that little yeast and reducing the amount of it can help. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog and this weekend's vlog. <laughs> and I hope you all are having a good, good day, night, whenever you're watching this. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.